Welcome everybody to Zero to Income. We're glad to have you here. I'm Sean, I'm here with Dana, and we're helping you get your businesses started. We wanna help you move from financial dependence to financial freedom. From dreaming to achieving. From blindly following the masses to being an independent thinker. From zero to income. Welcome to the Zero to Income podcast. My name is Dana. Today is Wednesday, November 29th. We're digging through the, what we call the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter, starting in Matthew chapter five. And today is uh, one about anger. And at least that's the the kind of heading that uh, I have in my Bible. Of course, that's not the headings, the, the, the paragraphs, the numbers, you know, the uh, verses, that's not God inspired necessarily. That's just something for us to organize, to skim through and find certain passages and all of that. However, it says anger here. And this one, uh, they, they all resonate with me because as I, as I think about these, these different passages, I think, man, God, I have fallen so short of, of your, uh, of your grace. I've, I'm a sinner. I easily get emotional about things. I've got pride in my life. There's all sorts of things that are going on behind the eyes of Dana that you might know, you might not know. And this message uh, is something that I have, I've had a really hard time uh, with, but uh, started, started to get a grip on it and made short accounts with people. So this is Matthew chapter five, verses 21 through 26. You have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder and whosoever murders will be liable of judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable of judgment. Whoever insults his brother will be liable of the council. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to the hell of fire. And if you are offering your gift at the altar and there, remember that your brother has something against you. Leave your gifts there uh, before the altar and go. First be reconciled to your brother and then come quickly and offer your gift. I'm sorry. And then come, I was like, as quickly as not in there and then come and offer your gift, uh, come to terms quickly with your accuser while you are going with him to the court, lest your accuser hand you over to the judge and the judge to the guard and you be put into prison. Truly, I say to you, you will never get out until you have paid the last penny. I remember in, in certain occasions, and listen, I haven't mastered this by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> um, there are things that trigger me. There are things that give me panic attacks. Uh, and when that happens, I put people <laughs> in, in, as targets in my mind. Why did that person have to say that, do that, whatever, and drive me to this place of anxiety? Um, and really, it's not the, the person that that says something. It's what's going on inside me that is the issue. Well, there was this time at work where um, this particular lady had, uh, she was, I felt like she was exerting a lot of control over my team and what we could get done. And uh, I was, I was mad. (laughs) I was just, I was really mad about this. And uh, I made it apparent in a call. Uh, when, when I was with talking with this person, with somebody else, I kind of blew up on the call and said some things and then I just ended up hanging up. I, I, was, I was so mad. Like, how is it that you can control and you can do this? And, and I had just propped it up in my head, the scenario in my head, which was not the scenario, not the real scenario that was going on. And I was talking to my coworker and my coworker was like, yeah, right. You know, give him heck, you know? And, and then I, I said to my coworker, I said, you know, I need to call, I need to call, uh, 
Uh, basically, uh, um, give me some privacy in my office. I need to call this person and and just repent of this and ask forgiveness because this is not the attitude that we want to have in the workplace. So I called the person and the person was uh, super gracious toward me and said, you know, I, I understand you've got frustrations, you've got a lot of pressure. Um, and I said, yeah, I said, but that's no excuse for the way that I behaved on that phone call. Um, it's just not right. I want you to forgive me. Uh, would you forgive me for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and it was like water under the bridge and, uh, then all was, all was well in the universe. Uh, it just felt, it, it really relieved my spirit. And I think if I hadn't been listening to the spirit in the moment, I would have caught, get caught up in all of the peer pressure and the confirmation, the message of confirmation from others that say, yeah, that's not right. You know, give them heck, you know, and, and then kept continuing to prop up a scenario in my head, which actually wasn't even true. Uh, so when we get back, uh, let that simmer for a moment. When we get back, we're going to uh, go through this uh, verse by verse. Sean and I would like to invite you to say goodbye to spending countless hours and countless dollars in trying to launch your business. Personally, I've spent over $20,000 on two ideas trying to get them launched with companies that promised to help me all along the way, only to find that things were very complicated, they were guessing, and neither of them truly helped me launch my business. Sean and I discovered that there are very easy tools, very easy ways for you to get your business launched. And we invite you to take part of that. Join us on this adventure. Go to zero to income.com to learn more. Z-E-R-O, the number two, income.com and learn more. Okay, so Matthew 5, verse 21. You have heard that it was said to those of old, said to those of old. This is the, the law was proclaimed audibly. So when you hear this said to those of old, you should also remember that this is speaking was the form of oral tradition, which passed down that, you know, writing was, was extravagant and limited and speaking was how the messages were propagated, how you know, they, they actually they literally read the law and you would come, you would sit, you'd have your family and you would hear the law being read out. And here he says, you have heard that it was said to those of old, this back, you know, back in the day, this is what was said, you shall not murder and whoever murders will be liable to judgment. So, Hey, don't kill anybody, right? So it's all good just as long as nobody dies, right? But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. So now we've got anger on the same plane as murder. Uh, anger is a problem of the heart. Murder is the action that results from the problem of the heart. So just having a heart out of tune with God is the same as murder. Um, with your brother will be liable for judgment. Whoever insults his brother will be liable to the council. I'm not going to spend too much time on this one and the next one, kind of focusing in and you're keying in out here on the anger piece and the, and the, and the murder and that attitude. But, um, you know, just don't insult your brother either. Uh, speak ill against him, insulting him, putting him down. Whoever says you fool will be liable of hell and fire, hell of fire. Now, yesterday we were at the airport and I'm, I'm glad to be home. I'm glad to be home at my desktop mic. I'm glad to be home at my workstation here to be able to record from where I'm at right now. Uh, but it, <laughs> you got to travel. <laughs> we were in Maine. We were spending time um, ministering to a, a dear uh, widow friend of ours uh, who has um, she's just been through a lot. And we came back yesterday, we're at the airport 
and I see this gentleman sitting across from me and I'm, I see his book and I was kind of like, I'm, I'm not sure what the, what the, so I looked up the book. I'm, I'm not going to give you the title of the book here, but I looked up the book and, and I was like, oh, this is a, this is a book. It's like a Christian, it's a lot of Christian thought in this book. I, this gentleman's probably a believer. Uh, and then the guy got on the microphone to make all the announcements for, you know, hey, if you're, you know, the, the red lane, the, the yellow lane, whatever, uh, one, two, three, four, you know, this, your, your boarding groups and blah, 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 and your baggage and make sure you've got your checked baggage, you know, brought to the counter before boarding starts. And, and he's going through these announcements and this and it really was hard to hear the gentleman. But this guy speaks up, speak louder. And it was like, oh my goodness. And that, then it kind of like, you looked around and you saw all these people like uh, uh, giving them the look and kind of mocking them a little bit. And I was like, man, I was like, you're in an airport, dude. <laughs> you look like a fool. I, I was thinking that in my head. And I said, you know what? I bet if this guy got close to me, he'd probably be like identifying all the things in my life that are foolish, that are stupid. So uh, you fool will be liable of hell of fire. You know, God forgive me for thinking that man a fool. Um, so uh, now if you're offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, not you've got something against your brother. This isn't time to go to the altar and say, you know what? I really don't like that person the way that they did. I'm going to go and, you know, I'm going to go and bring this up to them before I go put my gift to the altar. No, what the passage is saying is if your brother has something against you. So your, your attitude, your mindset is thinking about all of the people around you and has, has, have you offended somebody else? And if you have go you know, leave your gift Go and rectify it first. Then you can, uh, so be, he says, be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Come to terms quickly. Don't let this thing drag out uh, with your accuser while you are going with him to court. <laughs> it was like, you're on your way to court and now you're like, oh, boys, I'm in a real stick here. I'm going to have to... Uh, uh, come to terms here with my, with, with my brother and, and brother. I mean, some people would look at brother and say, well, that means fellow believers. I think this is just a term I uh, hear. This is my, my thought. I haven't done a whole lot of research on this term brother, but, um, I think it's probably referring to just mankind in general, not specifically a, um, a, a brother in the Lord, but mankind in general, lest your accuser hand you over to the judge and the judge to the guard, and you'll be put into prison. Truly, I say to you, you will not, never get out. You will never get out because now you're under human law. You're not going to get out until you pay the last penny. Uh, so this, this attitude, this anger, this, the bitterness of your spirit, the bitterness of your soul can get in the way of many things in your life. Now, this isn't easy, but what if you took a piece of paper, sticky note, what I, well, maybe a sticky note won't handle it all. Probably for me, it wouldn't, and I'd have to, I'd have to have a notebook. Um, what if you started listing out and really thinking through the ways that you have offended other people? Have you said something, done something? And before you just start to excuse it all away in your mind, think of yourself, your, your, your true self, your sinful self, and how your brain thinks of belittles those around you. Are there people in your life that you have offended? They have legitimately, they have something against you. There's their anger, there's bitterness, there's resentment toward you for something that you've done to them. Is that the case? I would encourage you today, don't let the sun go down on this. Take at least one or two of those and try and rectify it before the end of the day. 
touch base with somebody. Maybe it's an old friend that you had. Um, maybe it's somebody that you once respected and you've lost respect for, whatever. Think about how you may have offended them and let them know, hey, you know, I did this and I know it's not right and I realize it now and I need to get myself back in tune with you and with God. Believer, unbeliever, doesn't matter. And then as we think about moving forward in our businesses, let's have short accounts with those around us. Let's not let things get to the point where they're driving us so that we're going to, you know, be blamed. We will be, uh, we won't be blameless before the Lord. Everyone who is angry with his brother, everyone. We're all murderers <laughs> in that respect. Everyone will be liable of judgment. God, give us an attitude of gratitude, Lord, uh, toward you today. Father, help us, remind us, poke our, our, our spirit, remind us of the people that we've offended. And God, this is the, we, 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 it's, it's us, 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 gimme, gimme, gimme in this world. And that's the norm, but you have made us salt and light as we just have been reading Lord. You've made us salt and light in this world. You desire us to press light into darkness and father, how could we possibly be that light when we're hanging on to bitterness, resentment, anger, and just lousy attitudes towards our brothers and sisters, our brothers and sisters in you, but also our brothers and sisters in this world and humanity in general. Father, help us, Lord, to take a step today and be reminded continually that you are almighty God. No one can hide from your eyes, which search the mind and the heart. Forgive us, God. And help us to legitimately let these things go before you and to never bring them up again. We pray this in Jesus' name. Have a blessed day. On behalf of Sean Elliott and myself, Dana Morrison, we'd like to th say thank you sincerely for listening to this episode. We hope that it helps you on your entrepreneurial journey. Uh, truly, thank you for being here. If you would like to learn more about Zero to Income and be informed as tools and resources are released, we hope that you will take the time to get on the mailing list. Just go to zero2income.com, Z-E-R-O, the number two, income.com and get on the mailing list to be informed as tools and resources are released. If you like this episode, we hope that you will like it, review it, share it with those around you that are entrepreneurial minded. Thank you so much for being here.